सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोना लर्न द कंसेप्ट ऑफ डिफरेंशिएशन अंडर इंटीग्रल साइन एंड वी आर गोना सॉल्व द न्यूमेरिकल बेस्ड ऑन द सेम कॉन्सेप्ट सो यर वी हैव बीन गिवन अ क्वेश्चन दैट इज वी हैव टू शो दैट इंटीग्रेशन फ्रॉम जीरो टू पाई लॉग ऑफ वन प्लस अल्फा कॉस एक्स होल अपॉन एक्स डी एक्स एज इक्वल टू पाई साइन इन वर्स ए नाउ The question is how to identify that this problem is from DUIS, that is differentiation under integral sign. So it's very simple, friends, because whenever we get the integral, and if that integral has a variable with some parameter, then we say that this question belongs to differentiation under integral sign. So in this question, here x is a variable and a is a parameter. and hence will be applying the differentiation under integral sign rule to solve this problem now the question is how to start and for that i am going to show you the five steps method so by applying the five steps you can get the value of integral easily so here let's see the steps so step number 1 says that we have to consider the given integral as i of alpha and make it as equation number 1 now guys we don't have to say i of alpha every time because alpha is the parameter now if you see our question then in our question a is a parameter so instead of i of alpha here i'll be calling it as i of a and i'll make it as equation number 1 so this step would become So now, after applying this step number one, we'll move towards the step number two. So, step number two says that apply DUIS rule on equation number one and find the value of di by d alpha. So, in our case, it will be di by d a. So, let's apply the DUIS on equation number one with respect to a. So, here I'll say applying. now guys you have to remember one more thing that is whenever we apply duis we always apply the duis with respect to parameter so here i have considered this integral as i of a where a is a parameter hence i am applying the duis with respect to a so by applying the duis rule we will get di by da as equal to integral 0 to pi now by the rule of duis we have to find out the differentiation of this function under the integral sign but guys this differentiation is the partial differentiation so here i would be finding the partial differentiation of this function with respect to a so here i'll say do by do a of log of 1 plus a cos x whole upon cos x into dx now let's differentiate this function partially with respect to a and for that i'll consider x as constant because a is my variable and i'm differentiating partially so since x is a constant cos x becomes constant so this 0 to pi as it is 1 by cos x outside the bracket and when we'll differentiate this log with respect to a we will get 1 upon 1 plus a cos x into cos of x dx now guys here we can cancel this cos x term so we will get di upon da as integral 0 to pi 1 upon 1 plus a cos x dx 
now we have to solve this integral and apply the lower and upper limit now the question is how to solve this integral so for that guys you must be remembered the method that you have learned in your 11th and 12th standard so whenever we get such type of problems we solve it by the method of integral dx upon a plus b cos x so in this method you had seen that you have to substitute the value of t as tan x by 2 so i'll be using the same method so here i'll say put t as tan x by 2 which will give you dx as 2 dt upon 1 plus t square and cos x will give you 1 minus t square upon 1 plus t square so these are the substitutions we'll use now what about the limits so we have to find out the limits for t domain so here let's draw the table now the limit for x is 0 to pi now let's find it out for t so when i'll put x as 0 in the substitution this will be tan 0 upon 2 that is tan 0 which is 0 so t will be 0 and when we'll put x as pi this will become tan pi by 2 and we know that it is infinity so t will be infinity so we got the limits for t as 0 to infinity and therefore i'll say di upon da is integral from 0 to infinity this dx term that will become 2 dt upon 1 plus t square and here we will get 1 upon 1 plus a into cos x and cos x is 1 minus t square upon 1 plus t square now guys let's evaluate this integral and for that i'll take the lcm of this term so here we will get 0 to infinity 2 into 1 is 2 i can take it outside the integration dt will remain in the numerator here we will get 1 into 1 plus t square that is 1 plus t square as it is plus a into 1 minus t square whole upon 1 plus t square into we have this term that is 1 plus t square now we can cancel this term 1 plus t square and by simplifying this term we'll get 1 which is constant and a into 1 that is a again constant so i'll take constants together that is 1 plus a here i'll say and this term will give us t square and this will be minus a t square if we take t square common we will get 1 minus a so here i'll say plus 1 minus a into t square now let's evaluate this integral and for that we'll multiply and divide this denominator with 1 minus a so here we will get 2 integral 0 to infinity dt now first of all i will multiply the denominator with 1 minus a so here we will get 1 minus a outside the bracket since it is constant and when we'll divide this denominator we will get 1 plus a upon 1 minus a plus when we'll divide the second term we will just get t square because 1 minus a will be cancelled now guys what is the integral of this term so for that we'll represent this integral as 0 to infinity dt upon square root of 1 plus a upon 1 minus a the whole square plus t square
so now we get here the formula of tan inverse so by using the formula of tan inverse we will get 2 upon 1 minus a into 1 upon this constant term that is root of 1 plus a upon 1 minus a into tan inverse of this t upon square root of 1 plus a upon 1 minus a and here the limit is from 0 to infinity. Now we will simplify this term and then we will apply the limits. So 1 minus a is nothing but root of 1 minus a into root of 1 minus a. So one root will be cancelled and we will get 2 upon root of 1 minus a into root of 1 plus a into now here we will put t as infinity so tan inverse of infinity will give us pi by 2 minus when we put limit as 0 tan inverse of 0 will give us 0 so here we will get the value as pi by 2 and then we can cancel this 2 with 2 so we get the value as pi upon square root of 1 minus a square so here i am applying the formula so this is the value of di by da so guys here we have finished this step number two now let's move towards the step number three so the step number three says that we have to integrate both sides to get the value of i of alpha that is in our case it is i of a and we will make it as equation number 2. So for that here I will say integrating both sides with respect to a we will get i of a as equal to pi as it is and the integration of this term is sine inverse of a plus c where c is the constant of integration I, and I will say this as equation number 2. Now according to step number 4 we have to substitute some value of alpha that is value of a in equation 1 and 2 to get the value of constant of integration c. So we will substitute some value of a in equation number 1 and 2. So this is the equation number 2 and here we have equation number 1. Now guys select the value of a in such a way that the value of the integral will be finite. So here I will consider the value of a as 0 because this will give me 1 plus 0 that is 1 and log of 1 is 0 and therefore this value will be 0 and I will get i of a as 0. So here I will say put a equals to 0 in equation number 1. So we will get from equation 1 i of 0 equals to 0. Now we will put this a equals to 0 in equation 2 and we will use this value. So I will say from equation number 2 by putting a as 0 we will get i of 0 equals to pi into sine inverse of 0 plus c. Now guys the value of i of 0 is 0 and sine inverse of 0 is also 0 plus c it means we got the value of c as 0. So this is step number 4 and now this last step that is in the last step we have to substitute this value of c in equation 2 to get the final value of integral. Now this is the equation number 2 and in this equation I am going to put the value of c as 0. So this will give us i of a as pi into sine inverse of a. 
and guys if you see the question then we have to prove that this integral is equal to pi sine inverse of a and here we have proved the value as pi into sine inverse of a by using the rule of duis so here i'll stop but you keep watching the more videos and for that don't forget to log on to www.ekirat.com and enjoy the mathematics video unlimited thank you